This is Final Table Poker. Poker players need very little math to play well. Once and for all, I'm going to show you the correct way of counting outs, using the rule of four and two, and calculating pot odds so that you'll be able to make winning decisions at the table. Step one, counting outs. Here's an example of counting outs. Suppose my hand is the six of spades, five of spades. The flop comes down queen of spades, three of diamonds, seven of spades. In this case, my hand has almost no chance of winning unless it improves. If it does improve, I have a very good chance of winning. First, I see I need any spade to make a flush, or any four to make a straight. Notice that the four of spades appears twice. I'm careful to only count it one time. I have a total of 12 outs. 12 cards can come that will improve my hand to what I hope will be a winning hand. Step two, the rule of four and two. After I figure out how many outs I have, I use the rule of four and two to determine how often I'll make a winning hand. Let's start off with the rule of four. After the flop, I multiply my number of outs by four to determine my chances of making a winning hand. In this case, I have 12 outs. 12 times four is 48. Therefore, I have about a 48% chance of improving my hand by the river. The rule of two. After the turn card, I use the rule of two. Suppose the turn card comes the eight of clubs. Now I have 15 outs. All the spades make a flush, the fours will make a straight, and nines will also make a straight. I now multiply my number of outs by two, and that tells me that I've got a 30% chance of catching a winning card on the river. Step three, calculating pot odds. After figuring out my chances of winning by using the rule of four and two, I have to calculate the pot odds to make winning decisions. Suppose the pot has $300 in it. My opponent bets 100. Now the pot contains $400. I'm being asked to call $100 to win 400. My pot odds are 400 to 100, or simplifying that, four to one. If I call $100, my $100 chip will represent one-fifth or 20% of the pot. So I need a 20% chance to win to justify calling. Step four, making winning decisions. After counting my outs, using the rule of four and two, and figuring out the pot odds, I can make correct winning decisions at the table. This is what it's all about. Suppose I have five outs after the flop. Five times four equals 20%. I've got a 20% chance of making my hand. After the bet, there's $200 in the pot. I'm being asked to call 100. I'm getting two to one pot odds. Therefore, I need a one out of three or a 33% chance to win to justify calling that $100 bet. I only have a 20% chance of winning, so in this case, folding is the winning decision. 